And welcome back, everybody, to Ragecraft 2 Insomnia. I am TJ the Obscure here with you. This guy was dancing a moment ago. Get back to dancing, guy. That was hilarious. Mushroom. Dancing mushrooms. Alright, so after last episode, what I did is I just paused here. I made a chest real quick, and I put up some of my valuables, and I headed right back in. And there's actually a teleporter that takes you back kind of... Uh, it's kind of near the starting area. Uh, it's right near a chest in one of the graveyards. Let me show it to you right now. And this map utilizes teleporters really well, I think. Better than some of the other ones that we've played. And anyways, this leads up into this graveyard area. And so what I did is I just went back uh, to all of the places that I had kind of run quickly through to check chests and gather things that I had missed. I found two emeralds. This is this is what I found. I found two more emeralds, so that brings our total up to nine. I found some potions, uh, a bunch of equipment, and whatnot. Uh, let's go ahead and teleport back. So yeah, teleport us right back here. Uh, let me go ahead and show you around. We have this dog, uh, Bello, Bello the First, who I think has like some crazy amount of resistance. Uh, there, there you go. Uh, fire resistance, resistance three, and regeneration one. I'm not a big fan of using dogs because if there's silverfish around, they can really mess things up. Uh, it'd be nice if he had like some strength too, so that it, he might be able to at least kill silverfish in one shot. Mm -hmm. But that would probably make him too powerful. So we have plenty of wood. Uh, I think there may be some chests up in these areas to scope out. We have infinite food from the mushrooms. Um, so in many cases this is like the newer kind of generation of CTMs that, that kind of gives you everything that you need, uh, especially once you reach the Victory Monument. Um, let's go ahead and check that place out because uh, this is probably, I don't know, out of the ones that have been pre-built for me, I really enjoy this one, although it's a little large and it kind of takes a while to get around uh, but we have storage which we probably want to go ahead and start utilizing uh, and start putting things up Ooh, and put some weapons in here anyways I'll do most of that off of camera we have an anvil I think that has like one or two uses on it uh, an enchanting station that needs an enchanting table we have furnaces and brewing stands and all that kind of stuff uh, this map does uh, introduce, I've, I realize I never set my spawn, but this map does introduce some pretty cool features, I think, in terms of like power-ups and whatnot. This thing is like a get around your base quickly type thing. This is the teleporter room. This will take us places. Uh, I feel like in the past two episodes, maybe I was moving too fast. Or what I need to do is move fast, but also make sure I'm explaining the map, because I've played it before, and you guys may be confused about what's going on. Although I kind of assume that, that most of you have seen people play this before, at least the beginning area. Uh, so these are upgrades. We can get upgrade blocks via emerald blocks, which we place in here. This is the monument room. Uh, so we place emerald blocks here, and we place wool over here. Uh, and placing the emerald blocks gets us little bonuses. So we only need 144, which means we can miss six of them or lose six of them. But after that, we we don't get the bonuses. I love like this traveler's light and and stuff like that. There's a lot of really cool things going on. Maybe a little. I don't know if you're a fan of just the basic. Give me a you know a tree and some cobblestone. This may be too much for you, but um, I like it. I like it. I think it's fun. Uh, Alright. I think what I'm going to do is get established and get set up and organized and all that kind of stuff. And probably start a mushroom farm and a wheat farm. Uh, and then I will be right back with you. And shall we see what's up here? We have... Okay. The vines, I guess are somewhat useful, not really, but they can be if I run out of ladders. Is that it? Yep. To the other side. 
And over here we have some steak. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll take it. Why not? Alright, lovely. I already started my wheat farm. You can see it down there off to the left. Uh, I'm thinking I might go with just a free range farm and just kind of breed them as I find them and cook them as I find them as well. Uh, let's go ahead and head up, to, uh, head back up to the monument room to place the emerald block and the white wool. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead. Uh, let's do the wool first because we don't get a prize for that, and getting a prize is fun. Uh, very nice. We have defeated the last sanctuary, emerald block. I wonder if you can just break that and get the item out. And we get this, the Punisher, uh, which is really only useful for killing the mushrooms, I think, because it has looting on it and uh, fire aspects, so it cooks them and gives you a good amount of them at the same time. Uh, so, yeah, the next thing that we need to do is figure out how we want to best utilize this anvil over here, because we have a couple of options. I always get confused. I want to go to the right for some reason. Uh, we have a couple of options as far as what we can do. We can combine these and actually get a pretty decent sword with Unbreaking 3. We have some protection books and a sharpness book as well, so we can add sharpness and make that sharpness too. I think the best option uh, at this point, we also have a bow, we could turn that into power 2. Uh, I think the best option at this point is to actually go with the pick. Yes, I think so. And I think it's kind of random how many uses the anvil gets. And then go with the swords, which we can't afford anymore. Uh, gosh, I'm surprised that pick took as, as many levels as it did. Uh, okay, well, we'll have to wait on the sword then. Uh, but, man, having a really fast pick to take out spawners is a very, very important. Um... All right, what next? I guess. Oh yeah, so let's let's go ahead and try this guy out. Oh my gosh, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! You're not on fire anymore, guy. You've done your stop, dropping, and rolling. <laughs> I, uh, they're just so so funny. Uh, and see, I don't know. That gave me like six pieces of meat or something like that. I guess the other thing that we can do is put some protection. I was going to make the sword a pri my next priority and then these boots my third priority, but um, we can go ahead and add some protection to the boots. In fact, we can even make them protection to unbreaking one, uh, which would be very, very nice. And let's see, I probably want to get some backup armor as well. All right, I've spent enough time here. Let me get situated once again, and then we will head into the next area. All right, you guys, the time has come to uh, move out once again. Uh, unfortunately, one of the things that I forgot is the redstone in that previous area, and I really don't feel like going back to get it. I don't need that stone sword. Uh, I got some backup armor. There's some nice Bane of Arthropod swords down here, so I think I'm going to uh, focus on... Or I'm going to get that in my number 5 spot, and yeah, we just want to get going. Go, go, go. Very, very fast. Very, very fast. Let's head around that guy, and up here. And, oh, you guys are there. Uh, sure, we'll take you, and you, and you. Jump over one spider. Almost cleared the other one. Came close. I tried. Uh, are there chests up here? No. Doesn't look like it. We really do not want the creepers exploding because when the creepers explode, they cause silverfish apocalypse thing. So please, no exploding, Mr. Creepers. Ooh, emerald. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, oh, no, no, I messed up that jump. I messed it up, I say. I think there's a chest back this way. 
Dinch. What do we have? Lovely. I heard you guys coming for me. Gosh dang vines, man. Ugh. Alright, we really did not want that to happen. Alright. Um, I think... I want to go all the way down first, which is going to make my job a lot harder, but at least we'll be able to come back via the teleporter. Whew, okay. Uh, yes, in fact, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, voila, and I will see you guys back at the entrance there. <laughs> Alright guys, should we try that again? I think we should try it again. Should be a little less hostile this time around, too. Uh, let's actually leave a lot of that dark. And we grabbed that chest. We came down here. I fell off, is what happened. Well, I was so rudely uh, pushed off. Let's check this room up here. I don't remember what's up here. Besides death, probably. I see a creeper. And you go away. I'm going to hide behind these vines right here. Where you going, guy? Alright, what do we have? Potion of vulnerability. It weakens enemies and drastically lowers their resistance. Okay, I'll, I'll take them. I don't know if I'll use them very much, though. Uh, I don't know. We'll try them out. Perhaps. Perhaps. Alright, let's go. What's up there? Anything? Besides a creeper spawner? I kind of do need the levels, actually. Is there something up here? No. Oh, well, there's something right there. Alright, let's go. And we want to head down now. Uh, one of the cool things is that we've set off a lot of the spawners, so we can now approach a lot more of them without too much fear. Oh gosh, you are there, guy. Yes, you are. Uh, can I just take you out, please? Thank you. And we have another one of those. It's something of frost. I didn't bring my antidotes with me. I kind of forgot that there were poisonous spiders here. Uh, okay, let's eat one of these then. It also help with my hunger. Refill our torches. And throw needless items out. And... Uh, I guess let's grab that. And let's not die to you. Oh, okay, let's get out of here now. Don't want to mess with those guys. Really do not want to mess with those guys. Hello. Zombling. Weren't there two of you? Where'd the other one go? One... One shot you. Gosh, he was, he was hard to hit. A dwarven hand axe. Lovely. Uh, oh, there you went. Okay. Uh, oh, there's multiples of you now. Let's take you out first. Uh, like, now would be a good time to use that. Except not on myself, preferably. Looks like they can maybe follow me down here. Alright, let's get moving again. What do we have in here? Things that will hurt us. Yes. And another emerald and some health. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, pretty good indeed. Right, let's keep moving. Oh, that looks like a death trap if I ever saw one. Uh, oh gosh, that's going to be a death trap as well. Let's draw them over here, and jump over them all, 
And that's where I came from, so we go down more. There's a chest in that direction. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh. You guys, you! Take a moment, collect yourself, eat some steak, and we look we look safe enough, I think. We'll be alright. Right? We good? Hope oh, you're there though. Uh anything? Some of that, and some of that, and some of that, and some of that, and we're good to go. Watch out for you. Alright. Uh, hide behind the vines, and we're back here at the exit. Lovely. And I'm pretty sure that we can just seal this place off for good. Alright, ah, nice little transitional area into intersection one, and we got to do it twice. So lucky. So lucky. Intersection one, in fact, all the intersections are like an area in and of themselves. Uh... I mean, there's like a lot to do here. There's people to like trade with and little side quests and, and all kinds of stuff. Uh, let me check and see how long this video has been going on for. I might go ahead and, and just go ahead and start rushing Little Empire. I don't know. We, we shall see. Oh. Uh, there's. I think it tells you the orders to do the areas in. Anyways, uh, I'll be right back with you. All right, you guys, so we've been recording, up, I don't know, probably about 20 minutes now. Uh, and I know I was going to keep the episodes to around 20 minutes, but I just want to keep going. And instead of checking out the intersection, which we kind of already did with the monument uh, area, I figured we would just keep, keep the action going this episode. All right, uh, I am low on coal, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this bit right here. Very briefly... Uh, there was actually a discussion because um, Gob, that's that's Vintage Beef and Good and uh, gosh, Chad are playing this map, right? And people were saying, oh, you got to move really slow through this area and kind of take your time. But I don't know. I've always found it's better to just go fast. There's there's even little speed stations like set up for you. We're gonna need more than that, I think. Although, I have to admit that at this point, the, it, the map gets a lot fuzzier for me. So, I don't even remember. I know where one of the wolves is in this area, but I don't remember where the first one is, to be honest. Uh, let's just go ahead and, yeah, just make it all. Why not? Alright. In fact, one, two. Alright. There's something over here. Uh, I don't know if we'll make use of it. It's some kind of trade guy. I forget exactly what kind of trades he has. He also usually provides the benefit of, of attracting some of the zombies to him. Alfred Story. Hello, my name is Alfred. They banished me from their village because they think I'm a freak of nature, just because I'm so much taller than the rest of them. Some say my father was a human. Can you believe that? A human? That's disgusting. Hey, I have an idea. How about I, I craft... Some weapons and armor. Oh, poor Alfred. Let's just put all of that up. Poor Alfred. And he can just give me some basic leather stuff, it looks like. Nothing too special. I might steal your, your anvil, Alfred, but for now, you can keep it. Alright. Uh, yeah, like I said, there are like little speed stations in this area. It explains that somewhere. I forget where, but we're going to use our own speed station to begin with, and now we run. And like I said, I don't really remember. There's something in there. Here we go. It gives us a little bit of nausea, but it also gives us some speed. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Hey, hey, where did I just. Uh. I just threw my sword, or my sword broke is what happened. Okay, gosh, that scared me. Um, sure, we'll take you. And you can hear it. It gets a little crazy. It gets a little crazy, indeed. Uh, boop. 
Let's go ahead and leave that guy alone for now. Or actually, we'll break in. No, I don't. I don't. I'm not a big fan of that. I go go through the front door most of the time. Hey, guy. That's not nice. Oh, hey, they can they can still get in through that. The little guys can. All right, lovely. Um, we want the full anvil, and you know what we could start doing now is combining some of this, I think. Perhaps. Uh, no, it won't combine? Huh. Alright. I forget that we're playing 1.7 and the it was kind of buggy as far as so loud right now. As far as the combining the custom equipment goes. I really need a sword on my thing, don't I? Way. All right, uh, we're in here, but we want to first destroy this. Hello there, guy. You're not one of the bad ones. You're just a miner. Excuse me. Uh, it'd be nice to add that sharpness to this. Uh, gosh, I'm having trouble with my hotbar right now for some reason. Been playing for too long. Recording too many episodes in succession. Uh, Alright. Um, let's just go ahead and toss those then. No. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. And that building looks looks like fun. Oh yeah, there we go. There's my speed. Uh, actually, let's eat, and then let's get all dizzy. Whoo! All right, very nice. Oh, you guys are you guys are wearing black, which is not very nice. Bring around the rosy. Oh, but the spider is waiting here for me. Oh, okay. Whew, alright. Uh, what do we have? Take, take that, take that. I was kind of hoping to find some more emeralds. I vaguely remember there being one, like, up here. Uh, there's, like, a chest back here, isn't there? There we go. I was correct in my assumption. That was weird. Alright. I hear you there, guy. Some more speed, perhaps? Some more speed and some more nausea. We gotta take you head on because of the way that things are working right now. Holy! Mr. Skeleton! Why? How are you not dead? Crazy, like, regen or something going on. And, yes, I'll take that, please. I left... Oh, no, I did not leave that anvil behind. Let's just go ahead and combine those. Thank you. Sharpness 3. That's pretty decent. Uh, Anti-creeper cap. I like that. I don't even know where I... Where did I get that? Um. Oh gosh, where are they coming from? Oh. Oh, I forgot to take out the spawner. Duh. Duh. Oh man, there goes my pick. Are you serious? Are you serious? All right, you guys. Well, uh, let's just put that on for now. How long has this video been going? Seven minutes? Yeah, I should probably call it quits. And there's a teleporter right here and everything. So, we'll go drop some stuff off. How are you getting in here, mister? Is there... Can they fit through that? Huh. Huh. 
Very odd. All right, checkpoint. Lovely. Uh, so that was fun, and and next time we have a lot more in this area to go. So we will we will hopefully not die. Those those baby pigmen and baby zombies and stuff are just oh man, they're dangerous. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.